Hello everyone, I'm Michael with DSLR Triggers, and here today I'm, I'm here to introduce the Steady Shot DSLR Trigger, and also to go through just a quick unboxing, and then to set up the, the trigger on two different rigs that we have here today. So when you first get the DSLR Trigger, you unbox it. The first thing that you'll find is we have the camera cradle. We have for the Canon T2i, for the Canon 7D, for the Nikon D7000, for the Canon D60, and also for the 5D Mark II. So we have the camera cradle here. We have a standard 20 inch cable release. The only tool that we'll need is a eighth inch Allen wrench and you'll only need that once when you're assembling. So it's a tool free so that you can take these on and off the rigs without having extra tools. We've also, we've got one of our trigger assemblies. This one here is for rigs that have the 15 millimeter rod. And then we also have one that's made just for the Zacuto style uh, running gun rigs. And then also we have a, uh, the, the instruction sheet which pretty much just shows exactly what we're going to be, be doing here. First off what I want to do is I'm going to grab just a standard uh, 15 millimeter uh, rod rig here. So I'm going to grab uh, the, the T2i camera. So I'm going to grab this for the T2i. And then all I do is we just, we've got a T-slot down here. We would just put the T-slot over the, the hole for the tripod mount. Just line this up and then tighten it. And then just slide this, slide this onto to our rig for now. This is the only time that you're going to need the, the Allen wrench is we just, we've got an Allen set screw here on the bottom. We just take the, uh, the cable release and just feed the cable release through through the hole and then again this is the only time that we're going to need to use this is to tighten the set screw. This particular rig what I have to do is I have to take the handle off. I slip the, the trigger assembly onto here and put the handle back on Then I just take the cable release and then I feed it into here and then tighten it. As I, as I activate the cable release it ends up pushing the cable release against the start-stop button on, on the, the camera. A common rig that's running around out there is, is the, the Zacuto type rig. And on this one, I'm gonna need some tools just because of the way that it's put together by Zacuto. So in this case here, I just put the camera crater onto the, the holder for the Z Finder, turn it over, and then here, Zacuto has it to where you use a screwdriver or a coin, tighten it down. And in this case, it just tightens down. So we have that, that different type handle here. So again, I will need the Allen wrench again just to, to, to loosen the set screw that's at the bottom here. Just feed the cable release through. Tighten it down. Just slip the handle onto here, then I just get the position where I want it, and then I just, it's just a quick finger tight here. Slip it back onto the rig. I take the cable release here, and I, again, I just loosen with my finger here, stick it in, pull it back, and then tighten it with my finger and it's positioned perfectly. So here, if you wanted to adjust this for more comfort, I've got it to where you can go back and forth. So if I wanted to use the Z Finder, just pop this, the Z Finder just pops on and off here. So we have it so the Z Finder, so I just put it, compose my shot, on and off. So we've got two types of handles. The, this handle, which uses for the, for the Zacuto type rigs, and then we also have these, this type here, that's standard for the 15 millimeter kits. The screw going this way, if, you, if your rig, if you wanted to mount it here, if your rig was in tighter, you could mount, take the cable release out, run it through this way and run it forward, so you can go back and forth this way, depending on if you, you have rods that go perpendicular or if they go back and forth. There's no batteries, everything is, is hand tightenable and no tools. Thank you for watching.